What? I'm supposed to speak to, uh, uh Mr. Roberts. Follow me. Anyways, here's the office. And remember, there's only one way to get to Mr. Roberts, okay? Okay. Just don't leak his choda. Thanks. Who are you? I'm Eli. Uh, I'm here for the interview. Oh, yeah. Nice firm grip. You're hired. Uh, great. <laughs> when do I start? What size of shoes are you? Uh, nine. Start now. Uh, Go find Peter. He'll show you around. Thanks for the job. So one thing we have to do religiously around here is sweeping. This is the dairy section. We have bakery, frozen foods, meat and poultry. There's produce. Oh, and for the love of God, if you see any smudges on the windows, please use glass cleaner to clean them up. You don't want to make any rookie mistakes. No, sir. Are you mocking me? No, sir. Okay, well, at least we have an understanding. Now, why don't you go help uh, Mr. Wilco? Who, sir? Mr. Wilco, up at the till. Why don't you go help him bag groceries? Alright. <coughs> All you want. Uh, yeah, that dude told me to come help you bag groceries. Who, Sneaky Pete? Yeah. Yeah, we'll just ignore what that faggot says. He's just a tryhard who has a bone for this place. Okay, um, so what do we do then? I don't care what you do. Go outside, smoke a joint, go grab some Jemima, beat off to Betty Crocker, or what I would recommend, is go play with that girl. Customer needs help or something? Simple. Just bag it. Bag it? And ask them if they want to carry out. That's it? Yeah, man. That's it. How much do they pay you? Sarah girl. Fuck. Who the frigid bitch? Yeah, the frigid bitch. Yeah, what about her? Uh do you know if she's single? Bitch like banana? Hey? Frigid bitch, need I say more? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go do my hourly sweep. Certified sack sack up? Real man. Shut up. Oh. 
How's the first day? Good, man. Yeah? Yeah. Um, why the fuck is Rupert the fuck? Okay, I'm not deaf, and I live here. <laughs> yeah, we know. Brad's my brother. Thanks. Shut up, Rupert. You meet some good people at work? Yeah, dude, it's chill. Yeah. Your boss is pretty sweet. Nice. Yeah. Any uh, treatable women? Yeah, there's one. Yeah? Mm, girl? <laughs> What's her name? Uh, it's Sarah. Sarah? Yeah. You guys got a good thing going on already? Yeah, we'll see. Thanks, buddy. Cool. Gotta develop the situation. Let me be the first to say good luck, my friend. Oh, thanks. When was the last time you had a girlfriend ever? <laughs> I live here never once. He I makes heard. a good point, man. Rupert, it's always him in the bath. Your girlfriend's your hand. Mom caught you jerking off last night. <laughs> you need a dick for that. <laughs> How about you, Leon? What are you up to these days? Working, man. Trying to make some travel plans. You know. Yeah. Same old, same old. Getting out of Dodge. Getting the hell out of here. Yeah. And then? Not a lot. Why don't you uh, loosen up? Get the old bond. I told you already, it's not my thing. Yeah, what is that, dude? It's just not my thing, man. Why Let not? Off. Yeah. Fucking try it. Step Don't off, knock man. it till you try it. Fuck hey, you. hey. Give the guy a break. Fuck you. Fuck you. I was a little hasty there. Men, we're men here. Um. Everyone jerks off, okay? Fine. Everyone jerks <laughs> off. <laughs> Normal. Pretend I'm not here. <laughs> every time, every time we chill. <laughs> I bought that back when I walked into the store. That was two dollars. I just bought that. What are you doing? Are you accusing me of stealing? I just bought that. No, I just bought it. No, give it back. I just bought that. What are you? What the, what's wrong with you? I just bought that. Yeah, excuse me. Sorry, ma'am. I don't understand what your complaint is. Can you please explain it to me? Your fucking dumbass clerk is trying to charge me for something that I already bought. Donnie? I'm very disappointed. I'm disappointed to lose your business, ma'am. Are you all fucking morons? Have a nice day.
is my first year. Oh, cool. Um, that's me? Me? No, no. Uh, actually, I just moved here from Florida. California? Oh, cool. It's a pretty big city. I love it there so much. I can't wait to go back, too. But I just had to move here for now. What? Um, my family. Parent troubles? Yeah, but not in the way that you're thinking. Oh? Don't worry about it. <laughs> so, what have you been doing? Writing. Mostly. No way, like what? Uh, just like a story about a girl uh, growing up with her family in the war. You should look it up. Uh, what's your last name? Maine. M-E-H-Y-N. So you've done your homework, I see. Well, I do have a thing for dropout writers. Maybe I could get an interview? An interview? Well, I feel so privileged. When should we do it? How about tonight? You asking me out on a date? No, no, no. Just want to get inside the author's head, that's all. And I thought you were just going to read the back cover. Well, does 6.30 work for you? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Uh, okay, well, I'll see you tonight. Nice. Well, unfortunately, you're not dressed for the occasion. Where are we going? Are you serious? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> so it skates. Hey, uh, so you have skates. Do you also have blades as well? Yeah, they're uh, two bucks extra. Oh, uh, skates is fine. Can I get size nine? Thanks. Um, eleven for me. Uh, can you make it a nine? Check. All right, so we're live here with Sarah Main. So tell us, what gave you the motivation to write such an inspirational novel? So tell me, what gave your feet the motivation to shrink two sizes? You 
don't have to say a thing, just let me show how much I love you, need you, yeah. I want to kiss you on the road. Care to explain? What? This? I had nothing to do with that. This mess has been left unattended for the past two hours. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? I sweep every hour. Precisely. And did you? No, sir. No, you didn't. What, did you just expect this mess just to magically disappear? What if somebody came and slipped on this? You know, we, if the whole store could get sued? Peter? Why don't you go fuck yourself? What did you say to me? I said you should go fuck yourself! How dare you? Oh, give me a fucking break. I watched you make this mess yourself, and now you're trying to trip on fucking Eli. Okay, what the fuck is your issue? And the memory serves me correct. Are you not supposed to page Eli to come down here? Which you didn't, which would make you, what, fucking responsible? Whatever. You know what? I think I'm just gonna go fucking explain this situation to Mr. Roberts so you can know what type of a fucking reek. Maybe he'll finally get rid of your fucking sorry ass. No, you, you don't have to go to Mr. Roberts. Oh, I don't have to go to Mr. Roberts. Well, what the fuck are you gonna do for me in exchange, Pete? Tell me right now. What? Whatever you want. Oh, whatever I want. Sounds fucking promising. How about this, actually? Why don't you try to quit fucking sabotaging this fucking kid's career for once? You think you can fucking handle that? Hey? Is that, is that something you can do? And start acting like a fucking man for once because you act like such a woman and we all think you're a little fucking bitch. Do you think you, you can fucking handle this? Yeah. Do we have a fucking understanding, Pete? Yeah. Yeah? I yes. didn't hear you. Yes. Yeah? Okay, good. I'll clean this shit up. I've been getting these lunches for a while. I'm so hungry I could eat the arsehole of the skunk. I'm so hungry I could eat Rosie O'Donnell's discharge. <sighs> hey, hey, look in here for me. Look in here. You see? Grab that for me. What's in there? Weed. Well, I think I'll eat before. That's not just any weed, that's purple kush, okay? You have got to be fucking kidding me. Looks like Petey's trying to look pretty for somebody. It's fucking lettuce, man. Look. That's all that's in here. So why don't you make your own lunch? I don't have to make my own lunch, okay? I've been eating this lunch for 294 days. I know all of a sudden it's gonna be a health kick. Catching on. I guess today for lunch, I'm gonna have to eat an apple turnover from the bakery. High five. I've got. Hey, I got gotcha. you. Anyways, purple kush, buddy. You want some? I'm good, man. Holy Montana, Montana. <laughs> Man, try some of that. Try some. Oh my god. We don't need any more. Could you imagine if there's actually fucking pigs flying around? Flying as you fly out and pet them? They're winking? Hey? Sorry, what? You know, pigs flying around. Right by you. I think the world would be a better place if pigs could fly. Oh yeah, yeah, totally. Hey listen, you ever play the game, you know, troop dare, double dare, you know, promise to repeat? You ever play that when you were a kid? 
Sure. You ever play patty cake, patty cake bakers, man? Uh, maybe. You're a loser. You're an absolute fucking loser. If, if someone dared you, okay, they said they'd give you $100,000, okay, to eat an old lady out until she came, would you make her come? Are you fucking serious, man? Hundred grand, would you do it? Fuck no, would you? Don't. This, this is, is a the popular shit question. You think of when you're it's like, it's not me you thought of this question. They they have shows on this now. You win prizes. Right. Yeah, Same people that thought like, of the flying pigs, right? A flying pig has nothing to do with that. This one flying pig is a cool thing. Okay, I'm asking you a question. Would you do it? It's oh, like a, like I would a not survivor do it. show type thing, you know? No? no, I would not do it. Okay. Would you do it? This. I'm the one who's gonna be the president of the show. I want to know if you would do it. Just trying to think of ways we can make money, man. I, I like the way. flying pig idea better. Hello? Hey, listen, Eli. I won't be picking you up today. And why is that? Because I'm taking a beauty day. I'm serious. Can't you get a ride with somebody else? Fine. Oh, uh, Mr. Roberts, can I get a ride home? Why? Um, it's personal. Sure. I gotta lock up, so meet me in the front in five minutes? Sure. Right. Thanks. So this is it? Yeah, thanks. You know, Eli, you've been showing great grit in your work ethic. Showing up early, leaving late, and always sassing Pete. I thought you like Geeky Pete? Nah, I'd have fired his ass long ago if you just do something wrong. Uh, so what time do you want me to come to work? Did you check your schedule? I don't know. So. Oh, hello. And who might you be? Oh, no one in particular. Oh, I beg to differ. Mm. Okay, thank you very much. He's my boss. And no. <laughs> Drugs. pretty busy lately. Yeah? You know what? I've been hanging out with Sarah a lot, actually. What? A girl? Yeah, you know, I, uh, I always thought you were gay. Yeah, no. Uh, actually, she's the girl I work with. Uh, you know, the one from Produce? Oh, yeah! Does she like bananas? Uh, no. She's not actually a sex prowler like the kinds that you guys go for. <laughs> yeah, well, we do like to get prowled on. Name one sex prowler we go for. Well, to start with, your mom. <laughs> hey, man, watch the fucking bong. 
Oh, that reminds me. I'm gonna be picking up some mushrooms at the end of the month. Be down to try them out? Yeah, maybe. Unton, you must try the magical mushrooms. <laughs> Fuck that. Drugs are for losers. Yo, I'm down. you were. You're a fucking whore. That's all you ever have been, and that's all you ever will be. I have no respect for you, and I never will. Hey, Eli, how's it going, man? Uh, um, sorry, man. Come uh, on in, man. Do you think I can stay here for a bit? Of course. What's up? Uh, Mom. No worries, bud. You can stay in Rupert's room. Thanks, Steve. Yeah, you make yourself at home. Grad's so close. What are you gonna do next year? I don't know, man. Bro, hey, you going to the kegger tonight? Uh, no, man. I'm popping shrooms with Brad and then. Come on, kegger! <laughs> it's gonna be sweet! Nah, I'm good. Yeah! Hey, you! Kegger! Who the fuck was that? I have no clue. But yeah, no, I'm psyched for tonight, man. Yeah? Yeah, you know that girl, Sarah? You know, the one I like? Oh, the one that made you a lovesick puppy. Yeah, well, uh, she's coming tonight. You're gonna get down and dirty. <laughs> Tonight. Well, I thought we'd pop by my friend's house. Uh, I think they're doing shrooms, though, so uh, we can totally do something else if you want. No, that's that's fine. Um, we could do that. Uh, just give me one sec, though. I'll be right back. Hey, hey. Hey, man. Hi, I'm Sarah. Sarah, Brad. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Come on in, guys. Everyone's in the living room. Um, so, this is Sarah. Um, so, this is Inton. <laughs> 
Hey. Hi. What the fuck is Rupert doing here? Sorry, man. Mom caught that idiot Raymond Percocet again. Seriously? Another business, Bradley. Idiot. You're an idiot. <laughs> Ooh. She's fucking back, Rupert. What the hell are you doing, Brad? Anyways, should we brew up some tea? Yeah. Let's do it. Hey, Boonton. Nothing rhymes with Boonton, anyways. Can't even make fun of your fucking name, except orange. Doesn't nothing rhymes with that either. Oh, I thought of something. Futon! You know what, Ryan? You know what's funny about Utah and Futon? No girls sleep in your Futon. That is so clever. Yeah, I got one for you. What rhymes with Rupert? I'm gonna punch you in the dick. That's I'm kinda what, scared of you. That's what I'm not. But I'm gonna leave anyways. But not because I'm scared of you, because you're fucking tall idiot. Uh, where's Leon? I don't know, man. That's been in the shitter for like an hour. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. But Sarah, she's a great chick, man. Seems like a real keeper. So when are you gonna take her down? I don't know. I'm gonna take my chances tonight. Not a boy. Well, we should get back to him. Yeah, before we bring the fuck something up. Yeah. Where are the mushrooms? The Rupert probably took them. Well, I've got some acid. If you guys be down to try it out. No. What's up, Sarah? Oh, a little ecstasy. Why don't we all just do that? Let's grab some drinks. How are you feeling, buddy? Find you. Amazing. I have something to tell you. Eh? I kind of gave you acid back in the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gave me acid, man. Okay. Seriously, it's gonna be a hell of a night. Great time. You fucking gave me acid, man? What were you thinking? Dude, just fucking go with it. Just go with the flow. <laughs> So, have you done this before? Uh, no. I'm assuming you have? Yeah. Yeah. Colors, man. It's like you can feel it. Like this. Like this. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, go back. Okay. You know, Brad, I'm not even mad at you anymore. I'm just, just colors, man. The colors. 
Let's go to the park. You want to go to the park? The park? The light? Yeah! I bet there's more like that in the park. We need to go... Where? The park. Oh, yeah! I can feel it. I love it. It's incredible. The, the energy. But there's this wood, man. It's unnatural wood. Energy. We've got to go before it sees us. in the wood! Brad, we're going home.
Sunny scrambler, white toast, and sausages. Okay, and for you, sir? Um, I'll just have the grapefruit. Grapefruit? Okay. Oh, and uh, two breakfast burritos. Okay. Two. Uh, and two coffees, sorry. Fine. Uh, so, what are your plans for the summer? Well, I don't know. I'd really like to head back to California. You should definitely do that. Yeah, well, now I don't know. Why not? Well, because if I were to go back, it wouldn't be temporary. Oh. Uh. Uh. Well, um, what are you going to do for the summer? Just chill. Uh, uh, just chilling. Just hanging out. Well, you'll be with the guys, though, so it can't be that bad. Yeah, no, it'll be, yeah, it'll be fun. I had a really good time last night. Me too. Wonder how the guys are doing though. Oh, they'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. They'll be fine. We sell white radishes. Donnie, you really are a fucking moron. What'd you do? What happened? Donnie made an accusation that she was sexually harassing him. There's no tolerance for that here. <laughs> are you fucking serious? She tried to stick her finger in my ass when I was taking a piss. You're fucking joking, right? No. And you believe this? No tolerance for sexual harassment. Come on, fuck.
man, what are you doing here? Where is she? Hey, man. You here to pick up Sarah? Yeah, where is she? She's pretty out of it, man. What's your name? What's your name? Thanks. Get lost, man. Why do you think? Eli, I don't know what you're talking about. Eli, what the hell is that supposed to mean? You really don't know, do you? No! I don't! Could you inform me as to why you're acting up all of a sudden? Why didn't you tell me? Tell you what? About your drugs? I mean, Christ, Sarah. But I thought that kind of stuff didn't bother you. Well, I mean, to an extent. But the amounts that you were doing, that... Eli, I'm sorry. What else can I say? But why didn't you tell me? Eli, I can't explain it to you. And we're done. Hey, Eli. Um, look, I'm leaving. I'm heading back to California. I just wanted you to know, and I'm sorry about everything, everything that happened. I didn't mean to hurt you. Just have a good life, Eli. Bye. Aren't you working? You know, I think you're a good lad, eh, Fudge? Hey, hey, come here. Okay, man, what the fuck? What? Your downer attitude is ruined with my feng shui. Don't sorry me, pretty boy. You're the one who's screwing with the shuang. Spit it out. Sarah. What? Excuse me, I still have my order. Shut the fuck up, I'm in no mood for your badass attitude right now. Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse you! What about in my feelings? What about this boy's feelings? Can't you see he just had his heart ripped right over his fucking chest? Do you even know how that feels? Okay, oh, well I do, so fuck you, fuck all of you! Attention all shoppers! This place is shit! Fuck you! Fuck everybody, I quit! Fuck! I, st I still have my ice cream. Your ice cream? Oh. Fuck your ice cream! Eli, follow me. Let's get the fuck out of here. I need some air.
fuck. Guess I kind of went a little berserk in there, eh? This kills me to see you have your heart broken. Ever since Miss Robert's daughter left me for that other girl. Jocelyn or Hawklin or whatever the heck her name was. It's just been a mess. You know, I've been I've been mean to people. It's like I've had a hate on against the world. All because this girl damaged me. I'm like a bird with a broken I wing. broke up with her. Why why'd you break up with her? Tell you were so into her. She lied to me about everything. About everything. You were right the whole fucking time. Since when have you ever listened to me? Hey? Thought. Did she apologize? Apologize. Yeah. Did you believe her? Is she sincere? It's not easy, I'll tell you that. Remember when you're a kid, you can you know, all you care about is ice cream and we'll stay in a blade to watch a cartoon. And now when you get older you get crave feelings and Sometimes things happen that are uncontrollable. So I'm going to tell you this, okay? Do yourself a favor and live, live with no Honey, regrets. What the fuck was that all about? Give me a second, please. God. Okay. I don't want you to be living, okay, with an attitude like me, like a, a shoulda, woulda, coulda, or however the saying goes, you know what I mean? Don't be living like that, okay? Live with no regrets, but do what's right. Do what you need to do for you, man. Nothing else matters. Life is too short. Thanks. See you, kid. Yes, Miss Roberts. Eli, are you like tweeting? What? Well, you need to talk. Look, I don't have time right now, Mom. This is serious, Eli. I need to talk to you. About what? Eli, I feel as if you don't love me. You don't respect me. No, I feel as if I'm just shit. How do I make you feel like this? You don't respect me. You don't respect my choice of men. You're never there for me. For you? What about me? Where are you half the time? Drunk? With your stupid boyfriend? John loves me more than your father ever. John doesn't love you. God, you're so delusional. You don't even know what love is. All you love is that. This? I work two fucking jobs all week to provide for you. You treat me like shit. This, this is my salvation, but maybe it could be yours too. You so damn depressed. I hate you.